Okay, this is another book review. And this is a book that I really don't need anymore. So you can buy it or barter for it if you want to. This is called Golden Records. It's by Loom Panics, and I got this copy in 1993. It says it's articles and features from the best book catalog in the world. <clears throat> this is edited by Michael Hoy. And I don't know if you know Loom Panics, and personally, I don't know if they're still around or not, but they were uh, an independent specialty book publisher for a long time. Now, most of these articles appeared someplace else before. A few of them in things such as the Wall Street Journal. Uh, I'm referring to an article by Bob Black, No Future for the Workplace, uh, or else they were in uh, the best book catalog in the world. You know, they would do their book catalog and they would have articles in it. And I must say that uh, looking at this really brings home to me why starting in the late 70s but especially in the 80s and the 90s, pretty much anyone in the United States or elsewhere who encountered me really thought that I was crazy. Because, you know, a lot of these themes and everything are, yeah, this is, this is, uh, the book is very, very prescient. But a lot of these are truth or themes. I mean, you'll, you'll see a lot of, what they're talking about here uh, on YouTube is perhaps slightly updated, but quite a few things are, well, I, I just saw clips yesterday that were about some of these things. This deals with your identity, uh, fake ID, the closing doors, the closing door and the creeping cracks, uh, Big Brother, computers, cross-referencing, the American ID system. And this is about the environment. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, yeah, I like this one a lot. I reread this uh, yesterday. No Future by the Workplace uh, by Bob Black. And, boy, you know, this was in the late, well, I guess the early 90s. The very, very early 90s when he wrote this. Oh, first published in 91 in the main catalog. And I think that this one also did appear in the Wall Street Journal. Uh, with the abolition of work, the economy is in effect abolished. And job enrichment, the phrase implies a prior condition of job impoverishment, which debunks the myth of work as a source of wealth. Here is an article from 91, Birth and Death Certificate, Cross-Referencing, Threat or Menace. Now, when I was handling this sort of topic uh, as a journalist, you know, there were some people who wanted to read my stuff, obviously. I sold, I sold my stuff, or I was assigned things to write. Uh, but really, a lot of people I knew personally, friends, family, coworkers, uh, ordinary contacts, thought I was just, they didn't know what I was talking about. And I am not a particularly smart person. That's about drug testing and constitutional rights. I tend to be pretty logical, but 
very obtuse and naive. This is about the Secret Service busting publishers. Uh, this is about uh, Cyberpunk, the game, and Steve Jackson. If you're into gaming, you might like this. Let's see what else we have here. There's another Bob Black article. Oh yeah, this was during the time of the Gulf War, the first Gulf War. Uh, there are a lot of censorship issues in here. Iraq. And it says the satamizing of the American mind. The opening shots of the Third World War. Fully informed, sorry about the camera, fully informed jury association. We want every potential juror in America to know the truth. Fourteenth Amendment, the war and the spectacle. Mainstream media. Another reason I had this book sent to me was because not only was I uh, still reviewing various things, but I, I knew some of these uh, authors. Toward a Green Economy, Hemp, Fossil Fuels, Civilizing the Electronic Frontier. Remember, you know, this was right before the Internet got really big. The original provision of the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act, <coughs> which seems to forbid trafficking in information that could be used to break into a computer, is certainly overbroad and probably unconstitutional. Okay. Very interesting. I was looking at this yesterday. Oh, yeah. Here's an interesting historical article uh, about American soldiers who went AWOL in World War II and basically became pirates and brigands and um, mercenaries. Here's a fiction story. It's pretty amusing. It's, it is adult in nature. I remember reading this one years ago. Here's a thing about homelessness and problems with affordable housing. As discussed in the early 90s. Oh, this is a, about tabloids. And I have seen quite a few articles and clips about how you know, the tabloids uh, actually are very interesting. The way the American public, for example, responds to them and interacts with them. And uh, it's, it's an interesting article. If you like Social Security, you're going to love national health care. See, they were very worried about this. The <clears throat> long ago. Ask any retired military person what they think about government-provided health care and be prepared to hear a colorful string of obscenities. You don't have to be running for office to see that the United States is in the midst of a serious crisis in health care. Here's an article about money. Pretty thoughtful stuff. This is about homeschooling. You might really like this book. Show us your worker card. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Immigration and Reform Control Act of 1986 under the Reagan years is discussed here. I remember this very well. Uh, the obligation to have a social security number now. Oh, this is from Answer Me. Jim and Debbie Go did a really cool article on 12-step programs. I've got I've got the original Answer Me's plus the book of the first three issues. <coughs> I, I own the first four issues and I have the book of the first three issues. They are for sale. I got an inquiry from somebody late in 13 and they said they would get back to me and they never did. That happens, you know. And I had an extra copy of number four and I had Michael Board um, broker it for me on eBay and I got like three dollars or something. This is about female crime. Oh yeah, the first mass murderer in the United States was a woman. Now this is very interesting. This is This is true crime stuff. The new ruling class, the anti-sex league. Oh yeah, this is a, a comic, but it's about uh, knowing a, a woman a serial killer, casually a prostitute. <clears throat> Let's see, what else do we have? Oh yeah, this is about uh, the war on drugs is perfectly normal. I don't know if you're old enough to remember, but I am. Normal was the National Association for the Reform of Marijuana Laws. And I really urge everyone to look up the original French Connection in 1930, which was established by the U.S. government. It was kind of the operation Fast and Furious of its day, and then you will understand why Americans have a knee-jerk reaction against communism, why Americans are brainwashed to hate communism, and why the country became flooded with heroin, among other things. And you'd best be sitting down when you read that. You can find that on Wikipedia. It's a link on the... Uh, page for the movie The French Connection, but there was a real French Connection in 1930. And believe me, uh, the government did not set that up for the benefit of Americans, especially not American workers. All right, book review. Lumpanics, Golden Records, edited by Michael Hoy. I think it's very good. It's still extremely relevant. And if you'd like to buy it or barter for it, let me know. Okay, bye.